Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and um, I've got a very special parcel through the post just the other day. I've been uh, having a good play with it, and I thought I'd share it now. This is a set of lever picks from Andy Mack, who you might know from the UK Lot Sport Forum and his YouTube channel. Let me have a uh, let me open it up and just show you what's in here. Before I go on, I just want to say that Andy Mack is a absolutely passionate advocate um, of lock picking, and in particular lever lock picking. The reason he started to get into tool making and um, and selling tools is because he he knew that lever locks they have a slightly steeper price of entry um, than say you know standard pin tumbler lock picking purely because you need to get some uh, you know but you know, the stuff which is out there to, to buy um, from a lot of the kind of like major suppliers uh, like walkers locksmiths and things like that uh, are these uh, beautiful uh, curtain picks things like these beautiful curtain picks these are probably the most famous ones these are ICL curtain picks and uh, this set here in a box will set you back around a hundred and fifty pounds so, you know, you can imagine why it sort of puts people off. People see these um, lever locks, and uh, Andy also sent me um, a really, really nice Union 5 lever, curtained lever lock. You see people see these, and they want to get into them, but they just see the, the price of entry as a hurdle. So Andy um, makes, makes tools which are of equal quality, equal... Um, I guess, how do you say, usability, but uh, a bit cheaper. Um, also on his YouTube site, you'll know that at the present, he um, he gives does two giveaways. So he does one giveaway each week for free, and the other one is a, uh, a donation giveaway. So you, you donate uh, to his channel, and, um, and you get put into a prize draw for that too. Um, so he, he just keeps wanting to give back to the community. Um, anyway... Without further ado, let's have a look at uh, what he's provided here. And a set like this will um, set you back, with, with the case and everything, um, around £100. Clearly, if you want to inquire as to, you know, uh, how much for a smaller or a larger set, or, or a set which is similar, with different specifications, whatever it is, obviously go to his um, website and inquire there. Okay, so... We do have two sets of wires here. And why do we have two sets of wires? Well, it's because depending on which side of a lever lock you are picking depends on what handedness you need the lever wires to be. So we have, um, and it's very hard to say which ones are left-handed or right-handed, but, um, but I'm going to go face down which way is it pointing? So these I will say are right-handed picks. So if you are facing this way in this lock, the lever pack needs to be lifted this way. Okay. So if so, normally this would be sort of the interior view. So if you wanted to pick uh, the lock from the inside, then that would be the handedness of wire. If you have this, then obviously you'd be lifting this direction, and that would be trying to lift the um, the hint where the levers are hinged. Uh, and that wouldn't be uh, very useful. So these ones are for picking the lever pack this side. So you have left-handed and right-handed levers, uh, lever wires. You also have these. So um, and what Andy's given me are, let's separate these out. Let's just look at these um, left-handed ones for now. So why have we got four? Well, it's because lever locks, um, just like pin tumblers, all come in different shapes and sizes. So you sometimes need shorter and sometimes you need uh, longer tipped lever wires. And you see there's a range of sizes. So this one is particularly long. So let's have a look at the extremes. So we've got a long one and a short one here. There we go. So you see that there's a differences. Um, you'll also see that they are kinked and curved. They're not just a straight L shape. Um, I'll come on to why that is in a minute, but uh, but these are very shiny. Hopefully you can see that shine on the camera there. Why would you have shiny lever wires? Well, it's because like a lot of things, you get better feel when you can move 
a tool freely inside a lock. That goes for pin tumblers and lever locks. And so a nice polish, it doesn't have to be mirror shine, although it is beautiful, um, but a nice polish on a lever wire really, really makes a difference. The other things that he sent, and they're both left-handed and right-handed, are these, again, different heights. Look, if, if I show you, these are different heights. And these are overlifter wires. Um, these are designed for, well, I suppose you could view overlifting as akin to um, the equivalent of bumping or raking a pin tumbler. And these have to be different heights for, again, different locks with uh, different height keyways. So some locks you need to lift a um, the lever pack higher and some shorter. So again, you get the options and both of those are uh, left and right. So you get, so he sent me uh, four left and four right-handed um, lever lifting and three different height overlifters. When you're tensioning, a lever lock, of course, you'll need some tensioners. So it's provided two tension rings here and two different gauges of key. The gauges um, are, of course, the sort of thickness, there you go, or the diameter of the keyway. So if we take this Union 5 lever that Andy sent, you'll see that one will fit and one less so. So this one fits nicely and provides tension. This one rattles around inside. In fact, the, the little Allen screw there, you see, which is put in to tension against the curtain, because these are designed for curtain, uh, to, to rotate the curtain, actually rotates like around on the inside of it. It's, it's so thin. So you can see that for thinner gauge locks, you'd need this uh, tool. And for um, this is obviously a thicker gauge and it can turn the curtain and it will go in and it'll stop where the uh, shoulder of the key is and it'll turn the curtain. You'll notice that these are made out of long key blanks. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, they're nice and strong. They're filed down to a polish and that will allow you to um, just pop one into the tension jaws, if I can get them in. There we go, something like that. It won't, and then uh, it, because it's filed down, not only can you get tension on the lock, you can see that it gives you enough space between here and here to actually put the lever wire in. Okay, so we've got two of those. We've got some Allen keys. Why do we have Allen keys or Allen uh, wrenches? Because with the overlifter wires, which are designed sort of to um, uh, use your with your finger, the lever wires are provide. He's provided two different types of um, a handle, both of which are tightened with grub screws. Now, clearly, you all know that the wires are round. To get around that so that you can tension it in the handles, they're all ground flat on one side so that they can go in and the uh, little grub screws, the Allen screws, will be able to grip it so it won't twist as you're twisting the pick. So all in all, I've had a, a, a good play with these. I, I really have. Um, I, I picked a, a few leave lots with them and I would say I'm I'm really, really, really pleased with this, actually. I think that uh, what Andy's managed to do here is uh, provide a, um, a really high quality set of lever wires. Um, can you make them yourself? Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Um, uh, in fact, here's one which um, my friend, again, for the UK Lots Sport Forum, uh, Ratlock made. And they're all made just using um, uh, music wire or similar. You can, but making them this well with this high polish does take some skill. Take for example those ICL picks. Now one of the reasons why I don't use my ICL kit is because I bought it with some um, some of the wires that come with it. Just look at these ones in comparison. These are uh, unmodified and they, they do cost um, you know good money these lever wires but just look how they're finished. So 
you can see, and these are the same, I've got four, four of these wires, they're all the same. The tips are ground off, and you can see how they're burnt because um, the metal's changed. So they're ground off and not quenched properly. Um, and they're actually quite sharp. There's no polish on them, so that they do feel rough in the lock. And just look at the angle here. Now, I said I'd come up, up to why there's a kink in these, and it's all to do with, well, it's easier to show you actually on the ICL curtain um, tensioners. These, by the way, are actually very good quality. Very expensive, but very good quality. I, I, I do like these, but they're not for people on a budget. They're really not. So the idea is that these would go in, and th these would also tension um, the curtain. If you look at the at the at uh, this section here, that sort of is the same uh, diameter as the curtain. So let's just assume that this is a profile of inside the curtain, inside the lock. If you had a straight wire, it's got to get over this um, part of the curtain. And yes, I know that this is a tensioner, but again, pretend that this is a curtain inside the lock for now. And what you'd be seeing is you'd be seeing um, the pick inside. There we go. And you can see that there's a kink in the lever wire so it can reach over the um the curtain so it can pick the levers okay really really important now have a look at um this one that came with the icl kit and you see that um it does do the same thing but it's done it in a different way look at these lever wires here these lever wires are bent at 90 degrees so they go up and at 90 degrees which means if you look at the profile here there is very little rise before you get to the lever wire well there's a huge rise here why do they do that well it's a lot easier just to bend it up and across than it is to bend it um, at a very high angle and then bend it across this takes a little bit of skill look at the difference in finish that you're getting this is a commercial out of the pack pick and this is um, a hand finished uh, lever wire it's very very obvious difference why does that make a difference well one the thickness of this is a little bit too thick and two when you're actually in the lock this rise here uh, when you're getting to the front levers can sometimes stop you from getting a lever very 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 close to the um uh, to the to the outside of the lock so if you're if you imagine you're picking a lever which is um you know really resting on this front plate this rise actually sometimes pushes you away from from that uh, first lever i don't like it so um you know when you look at uh how well finished andy's picks are he's really taking into consideration that um that problem and he's put some really smart angles on there going on to the tensioners um these are well, they're just very, very, very functional. They're very usable. Are they as fancy as, say, something like the ICL curtain lever set? No. Do they work as well? Yes, they do. So I guess all what I'm saying is if you're on a budget and you actually are more concerned about functionality as opposed to um, having the, the, the top of the range kit, these are absolutely perfect. What... Do I, what would I change? Nothing's absolutely perfect, and there's no point in giving an honest review um, to Andy if I don't provide some um, feedback based on my experience of these. Well, there really isn't much to say that I I think that could be improved at all, truthfully. Um, the only thing, it's, maybe it's a personal preference, is, um, and, and by the way, you know, I don't know of any other manufacturer that that does anything any better really, but I don't like having to um, tighten and untighten um, lever wire handles with a uh, an Allen screw. I, I, I just find it f sort of fiddly if I want to swap between wires and things like that. Now, you don't swap between wires very often because if you're picking a lock, you're picking one at a time, but it'd be really nice if there's a way to um, develop something which um, has some kind of quick release like a collette a collette might work some kind of collette system where you could just uh, uh, finger tighten something um, in the opposite direction to the uh, you know the way that you would provide torque so it would sort of self tighten as a user that that might be a, a, 
a, an approach, I don't know. Okay, um, other than that, uh, and again, this is nothing to do with the actual lever wires, um, it'd be quite nice to have the case so that I could see the uh, the tips, because um, they, they actually slide all the way down inside. Um, good for protection, but not so good for selection. So it'd be good to be able to see the, the tips and maybe you know the tension tools in a separate pocket so you can just pull those out a little more easily. It's a it's a very picky criticism isn't it and it's not really a criticism of the the case which is perfectly fine and perfectly functional um, good quality good stitching but again it's just some feedback based on my personal preferences your preferences may differ. Um, so overall yes I'm very very pleased with this kit uh, I think that uh, the, the attention to detail and finish on the lever wires is um, absolutely superb and because they are made by somebody who actually you know uh, picks lever locks and knows what they're talking about they unlike uh, these uh, ICR lever wires they're much 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 easier to use they just are just smoother better feedback they allow you to get to um, you know the first lever in the pack close to the lock they slip um, underneath um, low lying levers um, under the bellies of those levers um, really smoothly so yeah I'm, I'm super super pleased um, so Andy thank you thank you thank you so much for this kit um, it really is beautiful and I will be using it actually I, I will be using these lever wires in upcoming videos because um, I like Andy want to promote a bit more lever picking out there okay um, people uh, like Andy are you know are providing lever wires and and you know lower cost uh, tensioning kits. So um, I think now is a good time in lock sport to be getting into lever lock picking. Um, and because of that, you know I, I I think I can do my bit to try and promote uh, some lever picking as well. So I'm going to think about how I can provide some videos to try to encourage people to to get into lever picking as well. So thank you, Andy. Thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy that review. Um, I feel very lucky to have these beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, lever wires and, and these tension tools. Um, uh, oh, I have to say though, if you do already have the um, ICL kit and you, you also don't really like the wires that come with it, um, Andy's work perfectly well with it as well. So don't feel that um, you know uh, Andy's lever wires are only for um, and these tensioners, no, you know, if you if you if you have the tensioners already, but you're finding you're not really using them because you bought the the, the not very good lever wires that come with the kit, don't you know be disheartened. There is hope out there, um, you know. Uh, you just need better wires. Honestly, I, I, it's like a revelation to me when I was using better wires. It just made you a better picker. Crazy, but true. Okay, I think it's time for me to shut up, don't you? And I'm going to go. I will leave links for. Um, Andy Mack's website um, and also his channel all over the place for you to browse. I'll see you next time.